This video features nine different music venues in the Houston area. So if you want to get a sense for the Houston music scene, and if you want to find out places to see some live music in Houston, then check out this video. So let's just kick this off with the first one featured. It's the Mucky Duck. This is a really popular listening room. Great place to sit at a table and have an intimate uh, venue to see some of your favorite artists, touring artists, or local artists, either way. Now I happen to pop by there during an open mic night and I'm featuring here in this video, Ashley Orlando and Kenneth Fowler, these two ukulele players who were uh, up there on the open mic and they were super impressive. And while you're catching that music there, you can also check out all the signed photos on the wall, folks who have came through here. Next up, we're still looking at some listening rooms. This is Anderson Fair. Anderson Fair is in the Montrose area of Houston. It's been here for a long time. The building is constructed from uh, materials from the 1880s through the 1930s, and it opened in 1969. There's actually a documentary about the place called For the Sake of the Song, The Story of Anderson Fair. So it is really historic. It contributed to the careers of folks like Lyle Lovett, Robert Earl Keen, Lucinda Williams, Tans Van Zant played there. And I went to see Ken Gaines, Wayne Wilkerson, and Jay Williams play. Next up is the Continental Club. Of course, there's the famous Continental location in Austin. Here's the Houston location. Right there in downtown Houston. And the band The Drift was playing the night that I came there. Pretty cool club, cool place to hang out. And not far away, you can go through the back and into the back of the other place called Shoeshine Charlie's Big Top Lounge, where they have music playing there as well. And I uh, enjoyed a more intimate uh, experience with a touring band that was playing there. Next up is Avant Garden. This is a pretty cool place to be at, a great place to see some music, and they feature a whole variety of music there. It's located in a converted three-story house. Just a great place to hang out there and sit out outside. Now I've come to the open mic here multiple times and it's a really popular open mic. But one of the things I really like here as well is the Jazz Open Jam. This is on Mondays, so it's really one of the major things you could do on a Monday in Houston. They had music going inside and I was given a free CD from the Bob Henshin Trio. Next up is Emmett's Place. Emmett's Place is a jazz and blues club. Pretty interesting, pretty intimate, unusual and unique. And uh, when I went there, I saw Colby Becerra and Dan Lipton and many more just kind of jamming out and playing a variety of blues songs and popular songs. And it was really fun to just watch them have fun up there on stage. Next up is Rehab Bar on the Bayou. This is a lot of space in this venue and uh, it feels that way. It feels very open. It's got a unique vibe there. They've got the outdoor beer garden where you could hang out and relax. And when I showed up, they had a band playing inside, the Last Minute Band, they were called. And they were having a lot of fun up there too, and a lot of fun to watch. Next up is the Good Company Armadillo Place. Now this place has a whole inside area where they got a bunch of food, serving up some barbecue. And the couple times I've gone here, uh, they had music inside with uh, these really long kind of picnic tables where you sit there and watch the music. This is Brie Bagwell that I caught this night, and it was a really fun night. Met some folks there, hung out with them, and I had a really good time. And most importantly, I uh, was able to walk there from the place I was staying, so I always enjoy that walkability. It's tough to find here in Houston, though. Now, a lot of these places I've been mentioning uh, were recommended to me, and that's how I like to find places, is the places that people are talking about and saying I should go. So when I was at the Good Company Armadillo place, I met some women. They told me I should go to Shady Acres Saloon. So that's the next and final place I'm featuring on this video. Shady Acres Saloon is in a really cool, hip and upcoming area of Houston. I think it's called the Heights area, and it's that area along 19th Street where they got a whole strip of bars. And what's really cool about this uh, little area is that you don't feel like you're in Houston anymore. It feels like there's a lot of space, big open area, got that beer garden kind of feel. And they had a dancing out there, although there wasn't too much dancing going on. I made an attempt at it, but as I've said multiple times, I am not very good at dancing with folks in Houston. It is what it is. But I had a good relaxing time catching the Eric Korb band playing. 
So this is a rundown of nine different musical venues that you could catch in Houston if you're looking for that live music scene and looking to get a sense for what Houston is about. I got another video where I featured a bunch of venues, although that was more about the dancing scene. So I'll put a link to that video up in the thumbnails and in the description below if you want to know some more music venues that have a bigger emphasis on that dancing. So hit that subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my videos as I continue posting about the music scene of Texas and my own personal music on here. Let me know in the comments what else I need to check out all around Texas, especially that Houston area. And thanks for your support and thanks for checking this out.